What's going on YouTube? So while there are lots and lots of luxury SUVs out on the market, there are very few that also have serious off-road abilities. But this 2021 Lexus LX570 is one of them. And today we're going to take a look at the latest 2021 example, which includes several nice upgrades all around it. So with that all said, let's go ahead and check out the latest Lexus flagship SUV. So you probably already noticed something interesting about this Lexus LX, and that is the fact that it's green. Uh, this is the new Nori green metallic paint color, uh, brand new to the Lexus LX, as well as the entire Lexus lineup, and it certainly brings a unique look to this LX. Now, up in the front, of course, you've still got that really bold grill, the largest spindle grill in the entire Lexus lineup. Um, and there actually are some updates for 2021. So this is the normal fascia, which most of the models have. However, the sport model, that actually has a new grille design this year. The weird spiderweb look uh, that's been eliminated and now we have kind of a tiled texture. Furthermore, the, there is an Inspiration Series model that's going to be offered and that's gonna have the same fascia, but black everything else out. Now coming over here to the headlights, it continues to have those signature Lexus triple beam LED headlights with a really cool crystal design, as well as your integrated arrowhead daytime running light. You do have standard uh, headlight washers, and then down below we have LED fog lights. So with the wheels, we also have another update for 2021. Not these specifically, these are the familiar optional 21 inch alloys that almost all the LXs have. Um, but the sport model, that actually has a different wheel than this. Uh, previously it had the same wheel as the rest of the LX lineup, now it's going to have a different 21 inch alloy. And then the standard model has a 20 inch alloy. And then jumping up here to your mirrors, of course, this is a flagship vehicle, so it's got all of the features. So you have power folding, auto dimming, heating, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, and we also have a Lexus projection puddle lamp. Now, before we get around to the rear design, I do want to point out that this LX does have a standard height adjustable suspension. So all those times where you're off-roading, you can raise it up as well as lower it down if you're just cruising on the highway. Now, moving around to the rear design itself, uh, there aren't going to be any changes for 2021. So this is your signature bold and classy LX design. So breaking down the individual design elements, we have fully LED tail lights with this nice chrome accent going through the middle. We have chrome right here. And then down at the bottom, we don't have any exposed exhaust outlets. However, if you go for the sport model, you will have a different and revised uh, rear diffuser. Now, as you would expect out of a flagship luxury SUV, you're gonna have all of your advanced safety systems standard on this LX. That's of course gonna be stuff like your adaptive cruise control, automatic high beam headlamps, as well as your pre-collision braking. But anyway, guys, that sums up the exterior design of this green LX570, but I know there's a ton of luxury on the inside, so let's go ahead and check that out. But before we do that, hit that subscribe button down below. So on the flagship Lexus SUV, of course, you will find standard smart entry, as well as the brand's typical key fob. And then to get inside the vehicle itself, just grab behind the handle. So taking a look inside of this cabin, you're not gonna notice any changes for 2021 as far as the design is concerned. Now, of course, being a flagship model does mean you have a ton of different interior material and color options, and even more for 2021. So starting out on your base model, that's gonna come with real leather with black or parchment, but the vast majority of models are going to be equipped with the luxury package, which throws in beautiful semi-aniline leather, and that comes in parchment, black, cabernet, or new for 2021, a glazed caramel color. 
And each of those does also come with a different kind of wood. Now coming over here to your door trim, you'll find the same materials up here. So we have a beautiful leather that comes all through here with the color contrast stitching. A different shade of leather right through here and the open pour walnut wood on this specific example. As far as your windows, they will be one touch automatic for all four and we have standard three person memory seating. Stooping down here to your seats, you have 14 way power adjusting seats on all models, including two way lumbar and thigh extension. And then like I was already mentioning, we have the lovely semi anon leather on this example. Extremely soft and extremely supple. Um, definitely a very comfortable seat to set in as well. Now taking a look around the cabin itself, the material quality has not changed for 2021. So across your upper dashboard, this is going to have a soft touch plastic with a stitching detail. Dropping down, we have a really large piece of open pour wood or whatever wood trim your model has equipped on it. Below that, we have a leather material that runs all through here and it does go down the side areas as you can see. Again, with more color contrast stitching, more open pour wood, and everything does fit together absolutely impeccably as is typical with Lexus. Now start up the LX, put your foot on the brake, and press the button. So after the truck fires up, the first thing you'll be greeted with are these traditional gauges. They have a really nice and classy look. Like I said, kind of an old school look. And then you've got a 4.2 inch multi-function display right there in the middle. And in typical, like other Lexus products, it's just going to contain the typical kinds of information, including for the safety systems. Now, in this specific example, we have the optional head-up display as well. Coming back to the steering wheel, you actually have hydraulic power-assisted steering on this model. And you will normally have a full leather-wrapped steering wheel, standard equipment but we have the optional heating as well as the open pour wood on the top and the bottom. Definitely looks very nice. Of course it is standard power adjusting as well and you do have rain sensing wipers. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about interior storage because that of course is very important for an SUV of this size. So we'll start out underneath the center console. Now you see that we actually have the optional cool box on this specific example. So that makes the center console into a refrigerator. That does cut down a little bit on the space. However, when we get our coupons out, you'll see they can still fit in here just fine. And once you actually get the food, you can even refrigerate it inside. Now up in front of that, we have our two cup holders underneath the wood. And then if you push back this piece of piano black trim, you will see a little shelf here. This is actually a wireless phone charging pad. So you can slide your phone right there. You can also connect to the USB, aux jack, or 12 volt outlet. Now coming back to the shifter itself, this is just a regular gated shifter. So you pull back for drive. You can bump over here to the left if you want to do some manual shifting. And surprisingly, you even have paddle shifters on board. Heading into reverse, uh, just like much of the equipment on the LX, it, the 360 degree camera system is standard equipment. As you can see, you both have your traditional view and 360 view, as well as active trajectory, front and rear parking sensors, and your mirrors do tilt down when in reverse to help you see the parking lines better. And then up in front of that, you have your automatic deploying electronic parking brake. Now with the LX, you have a lot of buttons here on the center console. So I'm not going to talk about every single one of them, but I will point out some of the important stuff um, that's on here. This, of course, is your remote touch interface with the pad. Uh, behind that, we've got a lot of buttons controlling the off-road stuff because this is a very, it's based on the Land Cruiser, so it's very off-road worthy. So the big knobs right here in the middle, these are basically for your on-road drive modes as well as your off-road drive modes, including things like your crawl control. Off to the side, you also have your uh, little toggle for the four-wheel drive controls. And then we also have a toggle for the height adjustable suspension. 
Along the sides here, you're going to find your buttons for your three-stage heated seats, three-stage ventilated seats, which are part of the luxury package. And as you can see, they are automatic, so they will work with the climate control without you having to push the button. And speaking of the climate control, uh, that brings us up here to our four-zone automatic climate control system. Uh, this is going to be standard on all of the models, and even though the buttons look touch capacitive, uh, it's actually, these are just like uh, glow-in-the-dark things here, and you actually push below it. Um, this does work with what it, Lexus calls the climate concierge, uh, which basically makes a lot more minute adjustments to make sure the automatic climate control is working the best that it can. And then up above that, we also have a few more controls, a CD player, which some of you guys will be happy to see, and we have the Mark Levinson sound system on board with this model. So the standard system is nine speakers, but we have the 450 watt 19 speaker Mark Levinson, and we'll go ahead and sample that now. You'd expect nothing less, but the sound quality is superb. Okay, so above that, you've got your vents, your classy analog clock, and then we have our Lexus Inform infotainment system. So this continues uh, the same for 2021, which means you have the standard 12.3 inch display. Now the version here in the LX, it is a older version than in many of the other Lexus models. So this is not a touch screen, you cannot touch it. Um, you also have the older remote touch controller down on the dashboard and the uh, actual software itself is a little bit older as well. You will not find Android Auto or Apple CarPlay abilities, but Lexus does point out that you do have Alexa abilities and we also have standard navigation on board. Now up above that we do have a standard auto dimming mirror with a nice frameless design as well as three Homelink Universal remotes. And then up here on the roof, you will find a standard size moon roof. Uh, it does not have a panoramic option, but as you can see, it does open up nice and wide. And I also want to point out that this headliner is extremely soft. Now, of course, hopping into the LX's rear seat, you're going to be coddled with all types of equipment and luxury back here. So uh, let me just go ahead and jump into the space first. Now this is an area where it's probably going to be smaller than some of the other SUVs you could get for $100,000 since it's coming in at 36 inches of rear legroom and 39 inches of rear headroom. And um, I do want to kind of point out that the seating is stadium style so you're going to have a little bit lacking in the thigh support area and you also can't slide your feet up under the seat so this is not quite as comfortable as something like an Escalade per se. Now as far as the features itself though, there is a ton of them. So here in the center we do have vents, a nice piece of wood trim to accent. Dropping down we have a 12 volt outlet. You also have more vents up here in the ceiling. And then if you fold down the center armrest, you have storage inside. But this is really going to be your control center for all the features back here. So it's, you're going to have the standard four zone climate control so each rear passenger back here can adjust their uh, temperature. We also have standard heated rear seats, and if you go for the luxury package, that will throw in three-stage ventilated seats as well. And speaking of the seats, they do power adjust, which is something uh, very rare. I've really never seen this in any other luxury SUV, power adjusting rear seat. And then you also have rear window sunshades. All right, now this particular LX does have the three row option. You can actually opt to not have this if you want, and that will save you a little bit of money. But if you do have it, you can just pull that little lever right there and it folds the seat and pops it right out of the way. So let's go ahead and get back here in the third row. <laughs> so sitting back here, um, the space itself actually isn't bad. I have about an inch of leg room to spare, so that's not terrible. However, the thigh support is where you're really going to be lacking. Um, it's basically sitting on the floor and my feet can't really slide up underneath the seat. So this is not like super comfortable, but it's all right for short distances. Off to the side, we do have cup holders. We do have vents as well, as well as an assist grip and LED light. 
Now walking up to your tailgate, the LX does have the unique like two-part opening tailgate. So in order to open, just push the button under the lid here. That will open up this portion. It is pretty slow to open. I would like for Lexus to maybe put a faster opening system here. but And then as far as the bottom part, you just grab that and it will fold down. And this is probably pretty good for something like maybe tailgating. You have a place to sit. Now, as far as the space itself is going to be concerned, you have 16 cubic feet behind the third row seats. It expands to 43 cubic feet. And then as a maximum, you have 82 cubic feet. Um, that's not a massive amount of space for a large luxury three row like this. However, I really think that that's going to be plenty of space for the average person who owns one of these. And as far as how Lexus has finished it, you do have a nice carpeting along the floor. There's no underfloor storage or anything like that. However, you do have LED lighting and uh, you have your power folding third row. Um, so this is a very unique thing where you just kind of push the buttons, it will fold, and you can actually fold it up and out of the way. Um, so certainly a very unique way to fold the rear seats. Now your passenger seat over here is going to be power adjusting. And as far as the glove box, it is nicely leather wrapped. And inside you have a decent amount of space. It's not massive, but it, it's definitely good enough to fit our Burger King coupons in here. So don't think you're too good to use coupons in a $100,000 car. That's how you save money. And then up top, we do have a sun visor with an LED light and mirror. This is also the two part uh, sun visor setup. So you can have it over here as well as drop this part down. sound of a classic V8 engine in a time where a lot of rivals are kind of moving away from the big displacement V8s, the LX continues to have the 5.7 liter V8. Uh, 383 horsepower, 403 pound-feet of torque. So, you know, plenty of power as always to move this big boy around. Yeah, I will say it's not like fast. <laughs> um, it's but I do really like the sound of it, and I think the power is certainly adequate for what most people are going to be looking for out of this LX. So as far as the transmission, we've got an 8-speed automatic transmission. You know, this is a, a modern transmission, plenty of gears, really smooth, of course. Obviously, as the flagship Lexus SUV, you know, being smooth and being comfortable is the priority. And that totally blends straight in with that. And of course, this is an off-road focused vehicle as well. So you're going to have standard full-time four-wheel drive with this model. They don't mess around with like two-wheel drive or anything like that. Right, and the Torsen uh, center locking differential as well. Because this is about luxury, but when you take it off-road, it's got some serious chops. <laughs> yeah, I just I really love the V8 growl that this vehicle has. But kind of getting up to speed there, I do want to talk about just the overall luxury experience you're going to get out of this LX. As you would expect, it is a flagship Lexus, um, so this experience is really quite impressive uh, as far as like the bumps that you're hitting in the road this is really not a smooth road but you can't really tell because it's really just soaking up the bumps it's extremely quiet in here um, it's honestly way quieter than I would have even expected out of something as tall as this there's no wind noise um, and we will get a sound level reading once we get up to speed here So we're going around 45 miles an hour there and we're looking at 53 decibels, which that's a pretty respectable figure. I do think that a few of the rivals may test a little bit lower. Um, 
mainly due to the engine, but um, I think that this is certainly a very quiet vehicle and you're not really going to tell much of a difference from the competition. So I do want to spend a minute talking about the body control. Um, so this of course has the height adjustable suspension. It also has you know, the shocks uh, that are tuned in a different way from the Land Cruiser. And it does actually have a distinctly different driving dynamic versus the Land Cruiser. Um, things feel a lot more controlled from behind the wheel with this LX. When you go around the corners and stuff, of course there's still body roll because it is, you know, has the off-road shocks, but uh, like I said, much tighter, um, as well as the biggest thing for me is the brake dive and the acceleration dive. And the Land Cruiser are pretty dramatic. When you come to a stop, the front end <laughs> dips like really heavily. Uh, with this, definitely, I think everything with this LX is tuned more for on-road versus the Land Cruiser, which is like exclusively off-road focused. So today's slam dunk is going to be the off-road capability of this Lexus LX. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's a lot of luxury SUVs out there and they do luxury extremely well. This is a luxury SUV that also is can go anywhere. You know, it's got the it's backed up by the Land Cruiser's off-road capability, which is something that the other luxury SUVs cannot say. And then as far as our air ball is concerned, um, it, I guess it kind of goes hand in hand with that. You're kind of sacrificing a few things that you can um, get in the other luxury options for about a hundred grand. Uh, you're going to get less cargo space. Um, the rear seat's not quite as comfortable since you have that body on frame design. Um, so you're sacrificing a little bit for that capability. Um, so it's just kind of what you're, what you're looking for. Now a few final things to talk about. The fuel economy uh, of course, this is not going to be a very efficient vehicle, um, and it's going to come in at 14 combined for all of the models, uh, which is definitely not great fuel economy. It's also worse than other stuff that you can get like the Escalade, but um, I don't really think if you're spending a hundred grand on a vehicle you care that much about the fuel economy. Um, and speaking of the pricing, we'll talk about that too. The two row is going to start at 86580 and then if you go for the three row that's going to start at 91580 Now this particular one we do have pretty much every option that you can throw on the regular one plus a destination charge of 1295 brings this one to 98850 bucks, which that certainly isn't cheap. Um, it's almost $100,000, but uh, you are getting really almost anything you can desire here. You're getting an extreme luxury experience. As well as we talked about throughout this video, you're also getting the unique factor of having it extremely capable, which a lot in this segment do not offer. So this is really a unique offering that you should be taking a look at. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed watching this in-depth review of the 2021 Lexus LX570. We really appreciate you watching, and if you made it this far in the video, I know that means you enjoyed watching, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. All it's going to do is give you notifications on our most recent content, including plenty of content about this LX, as well as the Toyota Land Cruiser. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.